Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the NAB Show 2017 in Las Vegas, Nevada. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. And I'm here with Adam at DJI, who's got a lot of cool stuff to show us, including the Sendence controller. Tell me about this button bejeweled thing. Have you ever been out flying and, you, and said, I'm tired of clipping down three levels in the menu in order to adjust something to get it just the way I want it? Once you've learned the kind of look that you like, the kind of responsiveness to the controls that make sense to you when you're flying, you ever want to be able to just have immediate access to that. Can I show you all the buttons on this? <laughs> I, I, I'm serious, the first, here, I'm gonna hold the mic, you hold this, pick it up for the first time, try not to hit a button. Try not to hit a button. I've already hit at least three. There you go, see? <laughs> okay, so yeah. we've, we've got the traditional command buttons in the back. Right, plus these um, command oh, buttons. Oh yeah, you've got a whole, there, whole right. second set of command buttons up here. Right. You're used to these dials up here, Yeah, right? you've got these dials here. Right, but what about these little dials on the side oh, here? Oh yeah. Right? Whole new there, and yeah. it's got a buddy over here on this side. Right. And then on the face of it, my goodness, we've got two separate dials. I'm guessing you control like maybe focus with this one or zoom. You can define these want, though. Yeah. And then pause, you know, power button obviously. And the sticks feel pretty good too. I mean, that's really what any radio is gonna be judged by. Very cool. This remote will work with multiple DJI aircraft. No longer is it one controller, one aircraft. Right, so the Matrice 200, for professional applications, and the Inspire 2 for professional filmmaking, TV, et cetera. It has uh, removable circuit boards, so you can use light bridge technology or traditional Wi-Fi, whatever is more appropriate for the situation that you're in. You know, these are obviously built for our professional craft. When you pick one up for the first time, you're gonna be hitting buttons that you didn't even know were there, but eventually you'll learn how you want to customize them to accomplish what you need. You can save different profiles, for example, if you're flying a wide-ranging sweep of an area, you can set it up to cover whatever parameters you need in that. If there's going to be different from doing close-in cinematographic shooting, you can switch between profiles that way. You, you can flip back and forth between those. Exactly. You know, it's designed for people who are flying drones all day long, who need to have maximum suppleness, who have a lot of business riding on their being able to get the drone to do what you need it to do right away. Speaking of flying all day in the field, how long's the battery life on this thing? You, you'll get four hours of flying out of one battery charge in this, and when you run out of battery charge, you put on another battery. So interchangeable battery. Yes, for the controller. You know, this is all part of what we're trying to do for professional users, is respond to the needs of people who might be out in the field for 12 hours a day shooting flying drones, who need to be able to have maximum control, maximum accessibility, maximum repeatability of what they need to do. And that means having replaceable batteries and all the power that you need. Another thing I've noticed about this controller is you've got a little screen on the bottom there, and that, except for the Mavic, that's the first time I've seen a screen on a DJI controller. What's that all about? That's right. It's a nice little touch. lets you see the critical telemetry data here, if that's an easier format for you, rather than trying to look on the edges of the screen when you're trying to frame up a shot. You know, I've seen people flying Mavics with, simply with the handheld controller without looking at the screen. And uh, you know, it's a nice touch for that. Now, our video producer freaked out when we walked up here because this thing's got some cool outputs on the back. What do we got? Yes, we have. This is designed to be able to do live streaming, live TV broadcasting, etc. So we have HDMI and SDI outputs in addition to your usual USBs. You got a signal coming from the drone straight to here, straight out to your live TV broadcast or your live streaming. You can ha also have this connecting to a director's monitor. They can see what the camera operator is seeing, what the pilot is seeing and you know, make sure that you're getting the image that you want on the first try. So the big question everyone out there on the internet wants to know, I'm sure, when's it gonna be available and what's it gonna cost? This will be available in the second quarter of 2017 and it's gonna be $999. Wow, $999, you get a lot of buttons for your... On a per button basis, it's really a great value. <laughs> well, Adam, thanks very much for showing us the sentence. Hey, thanks so much for coming out and checking it out. All right, and from the NAB Show 2017 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off. <laughs>